I am currently in PHP Storm viewing my REST API project. If you followed along using my Laravel Homestead tutorial, you and I are at the same place. There is no Git repository in our project. Let's initialize one and perform our first commit. I'm going to use the terminal to initialize my repository and commit everything. To do that, we need to run git init and then git status just to see what we have. We can see that now these files are not in there. We need to do git add all and this will add our files to the stage. Just ignore those warnings for now. Yep, we do have our new files here and all we need to do is run a git commit dash m and then add our git commit message which is initial commit. And now if we do git status on branch master, nothing to commit. And if we do a git log, we'll see our first commit, which says init commit. Okay, so now let's open up our homestead.yaml file. Just um, let's close this local terminal. Uh, if we go to homestead.yaml, you'll see that we have homestead as our database name. Now let's try to take a look to see if the homestead database is actually being created. To do so, we need a vagrant SSH. Now I know this does take some time. Okay, so we now in Homestead. If we do MySQL show databases, you can see we have our Homestead database. Now we don't really want that. I prefer to change the name of it. So um, let me think, maybe something like REST-API, that's good. Now we also want a second database called REST API and make a test. The reason for this is because we need a database for our tests to run against. So let's open up the terminal and what we need to do is type in vagrant reload. Now I know this might take a while so I'm just going to skip forward. Okay, so now that's done. The next thing we need to do is run vagrant provision. Once again, this may take some time, so I'm just going to skip ahead. Okay, so now that that's done, let's double check to see if it's actually working. Let's do vagrant SSH. Okay, now that we're in vagrant again, let's do MySQL. Show databases. Okay, so now you can see we have REST API and REST API test. Now I like to use PHP Storm as my database client, so let's set up a new connection. Let's open up the database panel. Then we're going to do add data source MySQL. Now what we need to do is change our local host to reflect what we have in our homestead.yaml, which is 192.168.10.10. Our port 3306 remains the same. Our user is homestead. And our password is secret, which is the standard homestead stuff. We're going to click test connection. Now, if this is the first time that you're doing this in PHP Storm, it might need you to install some MySQL drivers, but that's okay, don't worry. You can do it in the IDE and it doesn't take too long. Although a test connection does take some time itself. Okay, so we have a successful connection. Let's click OK. And now we should see our schemas here, although it's not the one we may want to see. Right click, database tools, manage shown schemas, Let's remove that one and go to REST API and REST API test. Great, so now we can see our databases that we actually want to use going forward. 